Setting the record straight, Eve responded to the backlash for revealing the difficult conversations she's had with husband Maximilian Cooper following George Floyd's death. The talk co-host defended her interracial marriage after she was trashed by social media users who questioned whether this was the first time she addressed racism with the British entrepreneur. I want to be very clear, the 41-year-old said in a preview clip for the Tuesday, June 9th episode of the talk. We have had many conversations because I've been in this relationship for many years. When you enter an interracial relationship, there are conversations you must have. That's just natural. So this is not the first one. You've noted that they've been having some of the most difficult conversations as of late, considering we're in one of the most difficult places in our nation, in our world, in this time. So that's why I said that it was difficult. The Love is Blind songstress said, because there is no stone that cannot be unturned, her and Maximilian, 48, are going back to have deeper discussions. The barbershop actress, who tied the knot with her businessman Beau in 2014, revealed their heartbreaking chats, even included her husband's four kids, Jagger, Lotus, Minnie and Cash. I have four stepchildren who have a black stepmom, so those conversations for me were checking in on my four stepchildren who I love. She emotionally continued. I was asking them, hey, has anyone ever said anything to you racially? You know, the fact that you have a proud black stepmother. So my conversations are difficult, but because we are in a difficult place. He first opened up about the challenging talks she was having with her longtime love during the Tuesday, June 2nd episode of the hit CBS talk show. I don't know his life through his eyes. He doesn't know my life through my eyes, she shared at the time. All he can do is try to understand and try to ask the questions. And he wants to understand. And that's what the nation, that's what the world has to do. It's going to be uncomfortable. Yeah, it's going to be uncomfortable. But we have to be okay with being uncomfortable so that we can get to a solution. However, the Who's That Girl singer pointed out how inspired she felt by the Black Lives Matter protest in the wake of George Floyd's death, who died on May 25th after a white Minneapolis police officer knelt on his neck for eight minutes and 46 seconds during an arrest. Thousands of people, even including celebs like Ben Affleck and more, took to the streets to demand justice. There are some people that are having beautiful, peaceful protests with their fists in the air and their hands in the air and all different colours and genders, all together on one knee, wanting to get past this. You've marvelled. That's what actually keeps me from getting too emotional. Thanks for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe.